Okay, perfect. So let's get started. Once again, guys, my name is Steve Bransfield. I am Matt's marketing assistant. I work here at the corporate offices in KL. Matt asked me to hop on this webinar today um, with TJ to really share TJ's uh, tips and strategies to how he's been able to generate over $150 million in direct response revenue. Um, and just in the past 90 days with Moab, he's been able to generate $116,000 in commission. TJ wanted me to tell you guys that his business partner, Chris Lakey, he couldn't make it on the call tonight, um, but that's all right. We have TJ. Um, TJ, are you out there? I'm here. I'm ready to go. Hey, perfect. All right, guys. I'm really, really excited about this call. Uh, TJ and I, you know, we've been talking the past hour now, and TJ's been getting me super pumped up about this. Um, I personally have my pen and notepad ready uh, to take notes. TJ has a lot to share. Um, we'll keep this uh, about an hour long, guys. So um, if you stay till the end, we actually have a special bonus that we're going to be giving away to the people who stay until the end. Um, I can't see the chat box right now, but at the end, we will definitely have a Q&A section where, uh, where we can go back and forth and we'll answer all your questions. Uh, so with that, I'll hand it over to TJ. Um, TJ, take it away. All right. All right, Steve, and welcome, everybody. And I am very grateful that you are here. Uh, my goal is to try to change your life here, but uh, that's hard to do in one hour. But stay with us for the whole hour, and I will save my very best secret for last. So I've got, I've got something uh, that I'm not going to give you till the very end, but uh, I am privileged to be part of this. I'm very grateful that you've had me here. Uh, I wish my business partner, Chris Lake, you could have joined us, uh, and maybe maybe Chris can do that at another time. Um, but um, look, I've got three big secrets, uh, Stephen, so how do you want to do this? Want me just to get started? All right, I had my audio on me. Yeah, TJ, let's, let's get right into it. Okay, man. All right. Well, first, a word of warning. All right. I've got to warn everybody uh, that some of what I'm going to say, it just sounds, uh, it, it just sounds too simple. It sounds too simple. So just a word of warning here. I'm a simple guy, and the ideas that I'm going to share with you, although they are simple, they're ideas that have not only made me a millionaire, but they've made a lot of other average people millions and millions of dollars. And in some cases, and, and that's the last idea I'll share with those people that, are, that stay with us for the whole hour, they've made people billionaires. And I mean that most sincerely. So hold my feet to the fire on that one, Stephen, because I've got an idea at the very end that I'll share with everybody that has the power to make somebody a billionaire if that's really what they want. And not, not that anybody would, you know, very few people ever want to become billionaires, but this is an idea that could really make people uh, extremely wealthy. But everything that I share is just so simple. And a lot of people, they're looking for complicated stuff. Man, don't tell me, you know, they, they, they listen to some of the ideas that I share and they just say, oh my God, uh, that's, that just sounds like such common sense. And yet, like uh, Mark Twain said back 150 years ago, common sense is a very uncommon thing. Now, I would agree with, I would say that's even more so these days. There just seems to be a lack of real common sense here. So, look, I am, I am obsessed with one question, and I've been obsessed with it for about 40 years now. Why do some people succeed phenomenally, at, you know, and, and, and others don't? You know what? It's just a, why do some people make millions of dollars when some people, most people just struggle their entire lives? You know, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce, only 2% of the people in the United States of America make over $100,000 a year. Only 2%. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just shocked by that because, the more you know about what it takes to get rich, and the, uh, then the, making a hundred thousand dollars a year is the easiest thing in the world, and yet only, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce, in our country, only two percent of the population make over a hundred thousand a year. So, uh, you know what separates people? I've got it down to three secrets. That's the good news. 
just three big secrets. The bad news is that work is still in there. Now everybody's supposed to be laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I, I can't hear everybody laughing in the background, Stephen, but uh, <laughs> that, that was supposed to be a joke. But I'm, I'm not got me laughing. So, so listen, uh, the work is still one. Of, work is still in there. Unfortunately, for some people, they're just looking for some. They're just looking for some fantasy where they don't have to do a damn thing, and all of a sudden they're going to make millions of dollars. And I just, I think if you, the more money you want to make, the more, the, the, the more you're just going to have to do some some real work here. But uh, so. Look, man. With that as a preamble, Stephen, I I'm ready. I'm ready for the first secret here. If you are, hey, definitely. Let's get started. Okay. Again, it sounds like common sense, but it's what we call the four cornerstones, and it goes like this: You've got to get involved in the right opportunity at the right time with the right people who have the right strategy and the right implementation, which just means that it's a fancy way of, uh, of just saying that you've got a way of putting that strategy into effect. Now, it sounds simple, but when my wife Eileen and I did this 26 years ago, we went from, we started our business with $300. That was all the money that we had at the time. It was our very first direct response marketing business, although back then, we called it mail order marketing, but we started with $300, and within five years, we generated over $10 million because we had those four things. We got involved in the right business at the right time, which timing is a little tricky and a little complicated, but, uh, but the timing is still important. So getting involved in the right opportunity at the right time, we met the right people and then we had the right strategy and the right implementation. And then all of a sudden, we were instant millionaires. And it's, it's even easier to do that these days. You know, sometimes people will say, oh, man, that was 26 years ago. Uh, I'm here to tell you it's easier today to make millions of dollars than it was 26 years ago. There's so many more opportunities available now, Steve, um, you know, thanks to the Internet and some of the other technological advancements. But, you know, you can easily prove that this four cornerstones is true by looking at the fact that most people do the exact opposite of what I just said. They get involved in the wrong opportunities with the wrong people, with no strategy, no implementation. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're always going for these low-cost deals that never pan out. You know, these, these worthless, low-cost business opportunities that somehow are going to make you a lot of money if this happens and that happens and this happens and that happens and then these people do this and then those people do this and then all of a sudden you're going to make a lot of money. That is just a lie. It never happens. And uh, so they get involved in the wrong opportunities with the wrong people, with the wrong strategies. And so that's my first big secret. You know, uh, now I look at Moab and, and – I've seen enough business opportunities over the years, and my business partner, Chris Lakey, same thing. You know, him and I, we've studied thousands of business opportunities over the years. So when we saw Moab, we saw a company that was started at, I think Matt started in 2011. He's already paid out like 25 or $30 million now. Um, you know, they're just getting started. He's got a goal to make a billion dollars a year, and I believe that he'll do it too. Uh, but we're dealing with high-ticket products that are life-changing. Uh, there, you know, there's there's all kinds of innovation with Moab. There's always something new, and the people are awesome. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about about Matt and the the veterans that he's uh, surrounded himself with, and and the people that are that are anyway. So we saw this as the right opportunity immediately. Uh, when we looked into Moab, we saw that this is an opportunity that can make uh, that can make us a fortune. And yeah, we're just getting started, uh, but already the proof is right there: 100 grand in 90 days, and we're just getting started. And I hope to be able to inspire some of the people on this call 
to if they're not already involved in MOB or if they're not doing things in a in a in a more serious, committed way, I hope that uh, by by the end of the call, maybe maybe they'll change their attitude about some of that and uh, making making hundreds of thousands of dollars in MO is pretty simple it's not easy um, and again we're just getting started so we haven't made hundreds of thousands of dollars yet but uh, so anyway that's that's my that's my first uh, big secret Stephen any questions that you might have about that no I mean I think you hit the nail on the head I really enjoyed that one okay, well, all right well I'll move on man Secret number two, and there's only three. So I really did get it down. I hope people can see the wisdom in that first secret, though, because you know when you when success leaves clues, and so when you study the people that have made a lot of money in a hurry, you'll always find out that they got involved in the right opportunity with the right people and had the right strategy. I mean, it just it just never fails. It is a, it is a, something to really deeply consider. Uh, number two. You've got to have a deep understanding of the basics. And, um, you know, when I, when I was first exposed to MOVE, this is last spring, I went to Costa Rica. And I, I got there a day early, and I didn't realize that the seminar started the next day. And so Matt invited me to a very special, like, pre-seminar. And I got a chance. To, I didn't even know that this was going on, but it was a closed-door session where the the brightest and the best people of Mo, the, the the superstars that are already making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, they were, it was them getting up on stage all day long, sharing their best tips, tricks, and strategies about what it is that's making them the most money. And I was just, I was in heaven, man. I was, it was heaven on earth, Steve. I was just like taking notes fast and furious. But the one thing I kept thinking about over and over again. In fact, I kept writing it down to myself. Anybody can do this. There was. This is not to put anybody down. These these guys are, are superstars. Uh, some of them are my good friends now. Um, I, I think these people are amazing. And yet, what they were doing, it's not that complicated. And I kept writing this down. Anybody can do this stuff. But here's the thing. Anybody can do it, but most people don't do it. It's just, it's not rocket science, though. None of this is rocket science. But with secret number two, you've got to have a deep understanding of the basics. And, and so when I say the basics in marketing, um, it's just attraction and retention. That's all marketing is. You're doing things to generate leads, which is the attraction part of it, and then you're doing things to close those sales and then resell them and upsell them. It's attraction and retention. It's simple. And... Thank God there's simple formulas to follow because I'm not a I'm not a very bright person. I've always been afraid to have my IQ checked. Um, I don't want to do anything to damage my self-esteem. I'm not the brightest guy. I've surrounded myself with some people that are that are a lot smarter than I am, but thankfully, it's not that complicated. Um, you know, we see it as a great game that we're playing, and and. Marketing is all just about generating leads. It's about attracting the right leads and then uh, closing those sales and upselling them and, and, and that type of thing. So um, I got a chance to meet some people in Mo that are making 100000 a month or more, and the things that they're doing are very, very, very simple. They're, they're generating leads. They're building relationships at some level with those leads. Um, they're they're doing things that uh, that cause people to want to move up the the mobile ascension ladder and get involved at a higher level. So so here it is now. If for those that are taking notes, here it is. There's 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 five things for this secret number two. Sounds simple, but if you really think it through, this one could keep you up at night. All you have to do is simply get enough people to give you enough money, enough times, for enough profit per transaction with the greatest amount of efficiency. And that's really the secret to success in, in every business. So it's just, you know,
you know, it's just getting people to give you enough money over a long, a long enough period of time, and um, it, it's it's all about attraction and retention, and um, I, I I don't know, and it's about return on investment. You know, so many times people they they worry about what something's going to cost instead of how much money it can make them, and all we care about is return on investment. We call it ROI. So. Just really trying to understand the basics and not complicate things. You know, people do tend to overcomplicate things. So that's that's the big secret number two, Steve. Um, you got anything or you want me to roll for the third one? Could you just touch real quick on the five things that you just said? Can you just repeat it one more time? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little formula. It's a little formula. It works for every business. Every business is like this. It's You just have to sell enough stuff to enough people often enough for the largest amount of profit per transaction and then with some real efficiency you know so you're watching your you're watching your uh, you know you're not you're not being you're not being overly um, uh, crazy with your money and stuff so getting enough people to give you enough money enough times um, with enough profit per transaction which is what I love about Mo more than anything else I love those big huge giant commissions of Mo I mean that's that's something that uh, excited me from day one and excites me more every day getting those monster commissions of a thousand dollars or three thousand five thousand or even ten thousand um, dollars recently uh, recently you got a ten thousand dollar commission without having to do any work at all right <laughs> It was the most amazing thing, man. A ten thousand dollar commission, and we did not do anything to get it. Um, and uh, that's that's the mobile extension model, and um, it's uh, it's it's brilliant. Uh, the way that the way that Matt and his team of experts have built this thing, and um, it was because of the you know the the great uh, sales team that he has in place. And the products and services that he has developed, painstakingly developed, uh, that cause people to want to buy. You know, the more people find out about Mo, the more that they are sold. They're won over, and they just want to go up to the higher levels. And that's that's exactly what happened. Uh, uh, a lead came in from somebody that we didn't even uh, sponsor, so it was somebody that we brought in. It was one of their leads, and. Um, that person went to a home business summit, which is one of the uh, low cost events that Mo runs, and they saw that they they caught the vision very quickly, just like a lot of people are doing. Uh, they went ahead and moved all the way up, and and we got a ten thousand dollar commission because we were positioned properly in Mo. So it it takes a little bit of time to understand that whole ascension model, but uh, we made ten grand and didn't do anything to get it. Except that we were positioned properly, and um, and we were out there, um, you know, gener you know, doing doing our own marketing. So um, it was exciting, man. It's just just one thing, but it's very exciting that those the chance to get those monster commissions. Definitely, definitely. Now, TJ, you were saying okay, well, you were saying before the call, uh, you were talking about your buddy who um, just recently set up a retail store. You just want to touch yeah, on this is my best friend. Yeah, this is my best friend. Uh, she just set up. Well, it was five years ago. Okay, it was five. It was this summer. It will be five years now. So uh, time flies. But yeah, five years ago, uh, at this time, five years ago, she was setting up her little retail store, and it's uh, it's in a town of of Newton, Kansas, which is about fifteen thousand people, and it's a it's a place where you take your dogs and they they groom the dogs and. So it's a it's a pet boutique. So they got they got dog clothing. It's, it's kind of ridiculous in some ways. Uh, people dress their dogs up and they buy all kinds of paraphernalia for their stupid dogs. Of course, I'm a dog lover too, but I don't dress mine. But anyway, but anyway, um, she started this little tiny pet boutique business, and it cost her ninety grand. So a little tiny retail store in a small town of Newton, Kansas, which you can't even find on a map without Google. And, um, it, you know, and uh, it's been in business now for five years, and it took them about three or four years to make a profit. But, but people look at the cost of things. You know, uh, the, the people don't realize 
that if you're going to get involved in a substantial, solid business in any kind of a traditional way, it's going to cost you tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, my wife, uh, 14, 15 years ago, she bought a service business and she paid almost a half a million dollars for it. Um, you know, people are going to spend tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars getting involved in traditional businesses, and then some people just have this insane idea that uh, when they find a substantial opportunity like MOBE, they have this insane idea that it's expensive. And yet, anybody that's got any business background can easily see that, uh, you know, something like this is not expensive at all. And so, you know, it's just, it's just frustrating that, uh, again, there's all kinds of these low-cost opportunities that are seductive, but uh, they never end up making people money, and that's, uh, that's, that's the bottom line there. You've got, to find, you've got to find a real opportunity with real people who are making real money, and that's one of the reasons why we love Mo. No, definitely. I think a lot of the reason that people get pulled into these low cost opportunities is because a lot of people have that lottery ticket mentality mindset where they're looking for the next big thing. But one of the things that I've realized, you know, being surrounded by the people that I've been surrounded with just the past few weeks is that, you know, success comes from preparation. It comes from hard work. Um, if you find the right opportunity at the right people, the right time, and you stick with it long term, you can see success with it. But most people think that they're just going to wake up one day you know, they're going to have this great idea. They're going to partner with this person and they're going to see success from it. Um, you know, but that idea is really what's get, what gets you caught waking up at, you know, 40, um, you know, not being where you want to be. Well, sure. And there's, you know, they are seductive. I, I've got, I've been seduced by all of those deals myself too. I've, uh, I've got my start with traditional network marketing and, you know, I, I understand all the comp plans and, you know, if this person does this and that person does this and all these great things happen, then, you know, someday I'm going to have 40,000 people below me and I'm going to walk to my mailbox and pick up a check every month for, for 100K. You know, it's just a fantasy. It's a dream. It doesn't, it's not real. Um, I, I, here's what is real. Big, giant commissions uh, so that you're getting paid huge sums of money for a uh, small amount of sales that other people are closing for you. That's uh, again, that's that's why I love Mobe, and and it's simple. My my big secret number two is it's all about attracting and retaining. That's all marketing is. It's generating leads, closing sales. Don't people overcomplicate it? And um, you got to go back to the basics, man. There's a lot of things you can learn. And, and, and you can spend your whole life learning new things, but going back to those basics and trying to keep it simple is the secret to making a lot of money. Definitely. Okay, so the third thing then, this is my third and final big idea. I call it having the proper mindset and habits. And this is where the hard work comes in because unfortunately or fortunately, uh, hard work is always part of the equation. Um, you know, some people, they think that I'm very disciplined. And um, I had one of my good friends, I've known him for about 12 or 13 years, he, he said something to me a month ago. He said, TJ, I'm just not disciplined like you are. I'm not disciplined. I, I, work, I work very hard all day long. I put in a lot of hours, but I'm not disciplined. I've just developed the right habits. And, and I love what I do, so it's a labor of love for me. And I work very hard, but it's all just, it's all habitual. It's just what I do. It's part of, it's part of who I am. And when you study the lives of people that, that, that have achieved phenomenal results, you'll find that they have the right discipline, the right motivation, the right focus. They have great habits that they've developed. They're very determined. They're passionate. They refuse to quit. And those are all things you'll find in some little $15 success ebook. And, you know, people can dismiss that stuff all day long and say, oh, man, there's got to be more to it than that. But, you know, it's, look, um, 
it's really simple, man. It is really, really, really simple. And um, the people that are making millions and millions of dollars, um, they refuse to quit. They've got a bigger vision. They don't get bogged down in all the petty bullshit, uh, pardon my language. And, um, you know, you just can't stop these people. They've surrounded themselves with the best and the brightest uh, that they possibly can. And uh, they, just, they just refuse to quit. They just, um, and, um, you know, when you, when you did the preamble, Steve, you, you talked about the $150 million that we've generated. But, you know, we've gone through some tough times over the years, too. We've gone through some difficulties. And anybody that tells you that they've made millions of dollars and haven't gone through uh, some real difficult times, that, that's just a lie. They're, just, they're, they're not telling you the truth. Um, what, I, what I will say is that we fell in love with marketing. We became absolutely obsessed with direct response marketing and fell in love with the business itself. And um, early on, the guy that helped us make millions of dollars in the very beginning, he said something to me years ago. And when I first met him, in fact, we picked him up from the airport. He, he had over 20 years of experience at the time. And he said, all it takes in this business is one really good idea that's well executed, and you can make a million dollars. And back then, you know, Eileen and I, was, was still our dream to make millions of dollars. But that inspired me. Within a very short period of time, we made millions of dollars, and we fell in love with this business. And having that proper mindset, you know, just um, this is a very exciting business to be in, direct response marketing and um, so that's 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 really it, man. It's uh, it's everything I have is simple. I hope that I I hope I've done it somewhat. I did save I did save my very best secret for last. So uh, hey, TJ, real quick before uh, we, we jump into that last secret, um, we just had a question come in from Chris, and I'm sure that a lot of people want to know this. Um, you know, everybody knows that most of your marketing comes from direct mail. Could you elaborate on how you use that strategy to promote this system? Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm glad. Hey, Chris, thanks. Great question. Direct mail is just uh, it's something I've gotten really good at, and, uh, and I've fallen in love with it over the years. And, uh, and, my, and my people have all fallen in love with it, too. So Chris Lakey, uh, uh, we've, been, we've been obsessed with direct mail marketing. Uh, but, but before I say anything more about it, I just look at, I look at direct mail the same way I look at all marketing, though. I mean, there are some nuances, and, I, and I'll talk about a few of them. But in some ways, direct, direct mail marketing is no different than Internet marketing. It's no different than television marketing or radio marketing. You know, there's this idea that I really hate, and that idea is people, people say, they, they say to me, I'm an Internet marketer or I'm an online marketer. See, I don't, I don't agree with that whole idea, you know. I don't, I don't think of myself as a direct mail marketer or if somebody advertises on television, they don't go around saying, I'm a television marketer or I'm a radio marketer. So this idea that online marketing is something special or internet marketing or direct mail marketing, all of these forms of marketing have nuances and there's things to learn, but it's all the same. And that's, if people don't realize that, they're hurting themselves. They're just, they're just, they're shooting themselves right in the foot, man. They're, they're, they're handicapping themselves thinking that, uh, that there is so much difference between these various forms of marketing. It's all about generating leads, closing sales. I've said that about four times now in the last half hour. And with direct mail, same thing. It's generating leads, closing sales. So I will say that when it comes to good direct mail marketing, People make a couple of mistakes, and they don't get good results, and then they think that it doesn't work when, in fact, we've made tens of millions of dollars in direct mail sales, so we know it works. So one of the big mistakes that they make, quite possibly the biggest mistake, is, well, before I tell you what it is, let me tell you a quote first. It's a quote from one of the greatest marketers who ever lived. About a hundred years ago, this man said, most people are trying to catch a whale 
by using a little tiny minnow for bait. And when I when I read this man's biography, and I read that line, it was all so clear to me. Most people want big results, but they don't they don't want to do anything to get those big results. And in direct mail, they want to mail little tiny dirt cheap postcards because they're always looking at the cost of something. They they never factor anything in except for the cost, and that's one of the reasons they love online marketing because it's in many cases it doesn't cost anything or it costs little bits of money and you see that violates so many rules of marketing it doesn't matter what something costs all it matters is what it makes you it's return on investment and so we see a lot of people they try to get involved in direct mail marketing and they just want to mail those little tiny flimsy little pieces of paper well those little pieces of paper they don't make any impact you know the the strength is that they're dirt cheap the weakness is they're they're small and they don't make any kind of an impact. And uh, um, so, I I would say that the biggest mistake people make is just thinking that they can mail postcards. Now, having said that, I've also mailed tens of billions of postcards over the last 25 years. So I've mailed millions and millions of postcards, but I don't mail them on my initial offers. I mail I use them as follow-ups, and uh, it's postcards are a great way to follow up with people once you already bring them into the fold so you got to be willing to it's all about making a good sales presentation and so to do that with direct mail if you're going to go ahead and mail a postcard anyway you might as well spend a little bit extra and put a nice letter in there some other enclosures if possible a nice order form make it easy for people to respond so that's that's big that's a that's a big lesson right there. It's, again, it sounds simple, but I see a, I see people making that mistake all day long. And then of course the second mistake is it's where they get their mailing list to begin with. You know, there's there, the list is more important than anything. It's the pers the prospect who you want to reach. So you have to you have to work with the right sources. And you have to use mailing lists that you know that other people are using very successfully. Uh, and, and so so it's it's a matter of, uh, and if anybody's interested in um, the right sources, I mean, we, we always, look, I'm, it, it, there's, there's no big secret. There's a few really good places to get mailing lists of opportunity people, and, and uh, we've been using those same places for years. So those are, those are my two big direct mail lessons. Don't worry about the cost. Only worry about what something's going to make you. Don't worry about what it's going to cost you. And many times, you know, look at that quote from over 100 years ago. A hundred, over 100 years ago, one of the smartest marketers ever, if he said most people want to catch a whale, so they want a huge result. They want to catch a whale, but they just want to use a little tiny minnow for bait. And, um, you know, if you want to catch a whale, you've got to you, – you've got to – uh, or if you want a big result, sometimes you, you've got – it's all about the presentation. So those, those are my two fast, simple, direct mail secrets. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, a lot of people are asking about um, your ROI on your investment, but I think you kind of touched on that, um, you know, where you said you shouldn't really be concerned with what the cost is, but more, you know, what the ROI is on the cost. Yeah, that's all you should care about, and and um, it's just and and you know with Mob again, it's those giant commissions. Um, we were talking an hour ago, Steve, before we got on this call, and um, you asked me what my plans are for the future. Well, uh, my business partner and I, um, we are very very focused in uh, you know there's 20,000 newspapers in the United States alone, and it's it's cheap to advertise in those newspapers. Uh, most of them have business opportunity sections. Uh, they're being read by people that are looking for solid opportunities. Uh, but uh, it's those giant commissions that you can get through MOB that more than make up for the cost of all of this advertising. Therefore, you can be more aggressive with your marketing, and you can do bold things and not have to worry about losing money because Moe's sales team is out there closing those big sales for you. People are moving up the ascension model. Those giant commissions for thousands and thousands of dollars will more than make up for the cost of your advertising. 
Sounds great, TJ. So guys, if you're out there taking notes, just to recap real quick, TJ's three secrets. Um, you want to have, you must have what he calls the four cornerstones of wealth. That was number one. Number two was you need to develop a deep understanding of the basics of marketing. And number three, you must develop the proper mindset and habits. And uh, TJ, we just had one more question come in on uh, what what list you where you get your list from, what source you get your list from. But you said that. Um, oh, good, 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 good. No, I'm happy to share my sources. Um, uh, my first source would be Mega Media, uh, Mega Media, and um, just tell them TJ sent you. And I've been dealing with them for about 25 years. Another good source for opportunity names is DAJ. You can find all you can find them on the internet. And then the third source would be Macromark. Uh, Macromark's been out there; they've been around for 30 years now. Uh, Mega Media's been around for about 30 years. DAJ's been around for about 20 years. So these are good sources, uh, same sources that we use on a daily basis. Um, that's it. That's it. Direct mail is an exciting way to make money. But, but all forms of marketing are exciting, and I hope that some people will realize there's no, there's no such thing as online marketing or Internet marketing. It's, just, it's all just marketing, man. The, the, more, the more people start thinking, oh, I'm a Facebook marketer or I'm, you know, I'm a, on, it's, just, it's just nonsense. It's all, it's all about generating leads, building relationships, with, you know, and, and closing sales and upselling and reselling and, 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 that, and that's, that's really, it's, those, those, are, those are those key elements that you can, once you really understand that at a deep level, uh, then, then you can do all kinds of different marketing ideas and make it all work. Definitely, definitely. And TJ, I just want to touch on, this, on these two simple equations that are really the fundamental equations to making money in marketing, whether online or offline. Uh, the first one is traffic plus conversions equals sales. So as TJ said, you know, you have to be able to generate leads. You have to be able to generate customers for your business. So if you don't understand the traffic portion of this equation, then you can't make any money online. In fact, if you miss one element of this equation, you're not going to make any money online. In fact, you're probably going to lose money. But if you can get these two points of this equation right, you can make all the money in the world online. And the first one is traffic. You have to find a traffic medium that you like. Um, a lot of people, when they first get started in marketing, um, and TJ, you know, you could probably touch on this also. They want to do everything. They want to do PPC, CPA, Facebook, direct mail. They want to do all these different traffic mediums. But the one thing that I've discovered and that every successful Internet marketer or marketer has discovered is that if you just pick one, one that suits you, one that you resonate with, and you devote a time period to understanding that one traffic medium, then you can be successful in generating traffic. You know, TJ, he likes direct mail. Uh, there's Michelle and Bill Pesco Salido. They like Facebook. Shakir Hussein, uh, he likes solo ads. Everybody has their own specific traffic method that they really resonated with and they stuck with. Um, and the second part to that is conversions. You need to have a system in place to convert the, tra the money that you're spending on your traffic into sales. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, how quality your traffic is, how good your leads are. If you don't have a convincing offer, if you don't have a good product for that lead, then it's not going to result in sales. So all the money you're spending on traffic is just going in the trash. But if you can get these two parts of this equation right, traffic and conversions, you can make all the money you want online. And the second part of this equation, and TJ touched on this, is the revenue that you're generating has to be greater than the money that you're spending on your ads. Um, you know, it's not so much the cost, like TJ said, but rather the return on investment. And as long as your ROI is higher than your cost, you can make money online. So I'd just like to ask you guys a question real quick. Um, what system are you leveraging to convert your traffic into commissions? Um, I mean, most of you guys out there, you know what TJ and I are using. Um, but I just wanted to ask everybody. So if you could just throw it in the chat box real quick, um, we'd love to see. Okay, so yeah, guys, for the people out there that don't have a system that they're leveraging to convert their traffic into commissions, um, the system that TJ and I are using, um, you can actually get involved with at toptier.money, www.toptier.money. You can go there right now. You can get involved in this exact same system that TJ and I are using. Uh, TJ, do you want to touch on the system real quick? 
Well, sure. It's uh, it's uh, I've we I've mentioned it a few times here with the MOVE Ascension model. It's the uh, it's all of those great life changing products, and they I call them life changing products because uh, that's that's really the way I feel about them. I've I've been to several of the events, uh, 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 the MOVE events, and meeting the kind of high caliber people at those events. Uh, has really been transformational for me, and and uh, so it's the giant commissions that Mo pays out, and then the expert sales team that Matt has developed. Uh, nothing but the highest quality of of people that are that are uh, taking all of these leads and then converting them to sales, and then upselling them beyond, so that you it is possible for you to get commissions. Of three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars, and soon to be even higher. So, uh, as as I'm saying this, the commissions are only going to get higher. But um, that lets you then be very aggressive in all of the marketing that you do. You don't have to worry so much about losing your money on anything that you do, knowing that you've got this uh, this team of experts that are closing those sales for you, and then upselling those people to even higher levels. Uh, that uh, and you know so it's just um, that's where the conversion comes from and uh, that's uh, I just can't speak highly enough about it. That's that's why we were able to generate a hundred grand in ninety days and and our goal of course is to get up to a hundred grand a month and I don't say that in any kind of a a bravado kind of way or any of that kind of stuff because there's people with mobs now making three hundred thousand a month or more. Um, so. Um, it's just, it's just. I hope that people will. I realize I'm a little, I'm a little scattered sometimes, but keeping it simple. It's all about generating leads, closing sales. What you call traffic, that's what I call generating leads. Which uh, I, you call, you know, the, the whole traffic thing, and then the closing sales. You call that conversion, and uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's traffic and conversion. It's, it's generating leads, closing sales, and when it comes to the conversion part of it. Nobody does it like Moab, and you'd expect me to say that. Those of you that aren't involved in Moab, you'd expect for me to say that, but um, but it is the truth. At the same time, I'd, I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you. Nobody does it like like Moab, and um, and and uh, that's that's um, that's all I got there. Definitely, definitely, yeah, guys. So the system that that me and TJ are actually using it's called My Top Tier Business. It's a 21-step training and business system. Now, if you get involved with MTTB, you're going to get a 21-step training modules that's going to teach you everything there is about making money online um, from generating traffic to generating leads to having high converting sales pages to selling high-ticket offers online. Uh, this is really a full 21-step program. It's literally a done-for-you system. As TJ said, the phone team um, you know, they're going to follow up with all of your leads for you. So it's almost on semi autopilot. Once you understand the traffic fundamentals behind driving traffic to the sales pages, um, you can, you know, you can basically run this business on autopilot. But as TJ said in his secrets, and I hope you didn't miss this, is that work is still involved. Um, you know, it, there's no get rich quick things. Th those don't exist. And I hope by now at the point that you're at in your career is that you've realized that those get rich quick schemes don't don't exist and that everything requires work. But, um, you know, this 21 step program was really because I had no prior experience in Internet marketing. Uh, TJ had some experience um, in marketing, but I had no experience starting out. And the 21 step program was really what propelled me forward to uh, have a good fundamental understanding of the basics. You know, I was on always on the outside looking in at marketing. Um, but once I went through this program, I was on the inside looking out. And I think a lot of people are kind of at that point. You know, they're on the outside looking in. They really don't know what's going on on the back end. Um, but I see a lot of people on this call now who were recently at the Diamond Mastermind event in Bali. And, uh, and you know, at that event, we really got to understand even furthermore, you know, the whole the back end system, the marketing online. And that's what this 21-step program can do for you. You're also going to get a one-on-one -on -one coach. Uh, and that coach is going to answer all the questions that you have about marketing online. Um, he's going to walk you through the full 21 steps and uh, give you guidance on exactly where to go with this. Um, you get insider access to the most effective sales funnels that have been tested over and over and over again. Uh, TJ will tell you himself that 
you know, he doesn't really change the sales funnels at all. He just follows the steps, follows the systems, and uh, he just does what he likes to do best, which is driving traffic. Everything is handled on the back end by Mobe, uh, the payment processing, the customer service. You don't need to have a merchant account. You don't need to have a support team. That's all handled by us. It's literally a done for you marketing system. Like TJ said, all you do is place ads. Your only responsibility is driving traffic. Um, and guys, today we're actually offering this system for only $49 and you can get started with this system. You can leverage the same system that TJ used to make over $116,000 in the past 90 days, uh, which is that that's insane that he's been able to do that. But you can do that and you can leverage this same system by going to top tier dot money. And like I said before, you're going to get that coach. The coach is going to answer all the questions that you have um, about the system and about marketing and online. Uh, TJ, real quick, um, we just have a lot of questions coming in. Can you just uh, really touch on those those three sources real quick one more time that you used? Oh, sure, sure. The three sources for good mailing list, uh, Mega Media, M-E-G-A-M-E-D-I-A. -E -E you can Google them, find, find Mega Media. Uh, Macro Mark, which is one word, M-A-C-R-O-M-A-R-K. And then uh, there's a smaller company that's been around for about 20 years now called D-A-J. Um, D is in David, A is in Apple, J is in Jack. Uh, they've been there. They do a pretty good job too. They've got they've got some good lists and uh, uh, but um, again, study direct mail. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, but realize that uh, you know there's lots of there's lots of opportunities out there for advertising. Uh, there's all kinds of space ads and lots and lots and lots of things you can do and. The, the main thing is you've got to have an opportunity that pays big commissions. It's those big, giant commissions that let you make more money with fewer sales. And that lets you be more aggressive with your marketing. Then you don't have to worry so much. You know, if, if you're just making little tiny commissions, you've always got to worry. You, you know, it takes so many sales to add up to anything. But if you're getting paid massive commissions like you are with Mo. When other people are doing all the selling and upselling and moving people up the mobile extension model so that you're able just to sit back and get those big, huge, giant commissions, then all you've got to concern yourself with is, again, Steve, what you call traffic. I call it generating leads, but it's the same thing. You know, it's just, it's just bringing enough people into the funnel and then letting Mo take care of the rest. Definitely, definitely. Um... Yeah, guys, TJ, you know, he really can't say enough good things about this. I can't either. But, you know, real quick, I just want to answer a few questions that people might have. Um, you know, will you really get a personal coach to walk you through everything? And yes, you will. Um, like I said before, when I first started out in this business, um, I had no prior experience to marketing online. So having somebody there who could answer my questions and walk me through everything, uh, you know, via video chat on Skype. That was really something that set Mobe apart from other things that I've been involved in before. Um, you know, a lot of times, especially with network marketing, um, you kind of get pulled into it. And then once you're in, uh, you kind of just, you know, get loose to the sharks. And that was one thing that really resonated with me with Mobe was I had somebody there at all times who could answer all the questions that I had um, about the system. And how much time do you have to put into this? Um, I'm sure TJ can touch on this one also, but guys, time that you want to put into this business is the time you put in is directly equal to the income that you're going to generate. Um, if you want to go faster and you want to scale more quickly, then you put more time into it. But starting out, you know, 30 minutes a day, um, that's a good starting point to get through the 21 steps in the first 21 days. And uh, for those of you who can't put in, you know, 30 minutes a day to generate a six figure income, you know, then this probably isn't for you. Um, but starting out 30 minutes a day is good. But like I said, if you want to go fast, if you want to scale quickly, um, then more time is going to equal more results. And, you know, the last question, is it really only $49? And yes, guys, it is only $49 to go through the 21 step program. Um, and you will get all your questions answered about how to market online. It's really going to teach you the fundamentals, uh, behind marketing. Um, and it's really going to give you you know, that insider access that I was talking about before, um, you really get to see how things work on the back end instead of being, you know, an outsider and looking in from the outside. Uh, and obviously, we're, we are a marketing company, so we have hundreds of other products. You know, if there's a point while you're going through the 21 steps that we feel that there might be a program that will help you get to the next level 
then we might recommend that program to you, but only if we think you're ready for it. And so, you know, guys, what is your next step? Well, I would invite you to go to the top tier dot money link to leverage the same system that TJ and I are both using to generate commissions online. Um, when you get to that link, it's going to open up an order form that looks just like this. Uh, what I need you to do is I want you to enter in your first and your last name, your address and your email address and your email. We're going to send you some stuff starting out um, to help you get your business off to a faster start. And then the most important part of this whole form is your phone number. That's going to be the phone number that the coach reaches out to you on uh, to get you started walking through the 21 steps. After you fill out all that information, I want you to click submit application at the bottom. And then within a few minutes, you're going to be emailed your next steps, including your login details to start the 21 steps um, and really leverage the same system that TJ has been using and the same system that's generated over him over $116,000 in the past 90 days. Um, TJ, do you have any last words that you want to touch on about the system and uh, about your success? Okay, sure. No, I promised everybody my biggest secret. And uh, look, it's simple. I, I'm, I'm a simple person. If, if they, they've been calling me the blue jeans millionaire now for a couple decades because <laughs> I'm the most average person you'll ever meet. I refuse to wear a suit and tie, and um, you know I'm I'm very I'm just I'm just average, and uh, and yet I had an above average desire to make a lot of money, and I'm surrounded in this building where I do my work here with I've got pictures of all my entrepreneurial heroes all around me, and maybe that sounds a little crazy to some people, but I'm inspired greatly by these pictures that I have all around me of these stuff. Uh, of these people that have gone out and made, uh, in most cases, billions of dollars, and and I've studied their lives, and it's, you know, the the thing is they've been so deeply committed, they've had such a big vision for what they really want to accomplish, and my third big secret that I shared tonight was all about mindset and getting the proper habits and mindset. You've got to fall in love with it, and once you do fall in love with it then you're going to put more of yourself into it. And if this is an exciting business, it's lots of fun. If I could just convince people of how much fun it is, how exciting it is, then people would, 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 would be less afraid because, uh, you know, people just see this as, oh, my God, i got to learn this. Oh, man, i got to learn this. i got to learn that. Well, yes, there is a learning curve that you have to go through. Mo will help you with that. But once you go through the little bit of that learning curve, it gets exciting, it gets fun, and then you you really develop this uh, the same thing that all of the world's richest entrepreneurs have, which is you get excited. It becomes an obsession almost. It becomes something that um, that um, well, it's not work anymore. Let's just put it that way. It's not work anymore. It's it's a labor of love and. And, and as I promised an hour ago when we first got on the phone, I was going to share a secret that could potentially make people many, many millions or in some cases billions of dollars. Some of these pictures of my entrepreneurial heroes that are on this wall, they started with nothing, and yet they became billionaires. And, and, and one of the reasons they became billionaires, Steve, is, is and by studying their life, I know this, is because of just how passionate and how excited they were about their businesses. and, and um, so don't minimize any of this. Um, it, it sounds so simple. It sounds too simple. People tend to ignore it. But uh, getting involved in direct response marketing with a company like, like Mo, um, it's exciting. It's something you can get passionate about. And I would encourage everybody to check into this because it's a – remember, the first thing I shared, this, you've got to get involved in the right opportunity with the right people who have the right strategy and the right implementation, and that is Moog. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've been uh, very excited over the last 90 days to bring in over 100 grand. That's, that's really thrilling for, you know, for a startup to bring in um, uh, something brand new to, to bring in 100 grand. But there's a lot of people in Moog that, uh, that we've met so far that are they're, they're bringing in 100 grand a month or more. So they're... You know, it's the opportunities out there for you, and um, and it's and it's all yours by just getting involved. Now, if you're already involved, get up, get up, move up the ladder, get positioned, because that was the whole key that made us that ten thousand dollar commission check 
that just came out of nowhere because other people that are part of Matt Lloyd's uh, uh, operation, they were they were they were doing all of the work for us. So um, this it's it's a it's a brilliant opportunity, and I'm privileged and I'm grateful that uh, for those that stayed with us the entire hour. I, I I'm very very grateful and uh, and thank you, Stephen, for inviting me. Definitely, TJ. I just got one more thing. Um, you know, you just touched on this real quick, but. Um, the, the reason you've been able to make um, that kind of money within the 90 days is because of the skill set that you've developed. And your skill set is directly equal to the money that you're going to be making every single month. So if you want to increase your monthly income, you need to increase your skill set. And you can increase your skill set by going through the 21 steps and really understanding the fundamentals of marketing because there is a very small percentage of people that actually understand marketing. So if you can develop that skill, which it's not that it's a difficult skill to understand, it's that a lot of people don't take the time to understand it. And if you can go and you can understand the skill of marketing, then then the there are no ceilings. The possibilities are endless. You can make $100,000 in 90 days. You know, a lot of people like, TJ said are making $100,000 a month. And the reason they're making $100,000 a month is because they took the time to develop the skill set of marketing. And, and last thing to uh, wrap up this call, TJ, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a deep question at you real quick. If there was one thing that you could tell yourself uh, when you were first starting out, one thing that you've learned over all the years um, that, that you could tell yourself, just one thing starting out, um, what would it be? Easy. Oh, that's easy. That is so easy. Look, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll just go ahead and make a, a confession here. Um, yes, I had a serious desire about 30 years ago. I, I decided I wanted to become a millionaire. And even though I had no knowledge, no, I, I had no, I had no anything. I had no money, no education. I was working in, in a factory as a welder. I wasn't even a good welder. All right. <laughs> I had this idea that I, I had this idea that I wanted to become a millionaire, but I was scared. I was so frightened, and I was so filled with insecurities. And I wish I would have, if I could just go back and have a good, strong talk with myself, you know, back then, and just fear, fear held me back for the longest time, and fear has not been a good friend of mine at all. It's it, it, it's held me back. Um, I, I've, I've, I've had to. I've, I've wor really worked hard at overcoming my fears, though. But I should have never had them in the first place. And so I would have just told myself, "Man, give yourself a break. Don't be so afraid." You know, uh, there a lot of people. Uh, they, they, they're excited. They're not scared. They're excited. You know, the, the difference between those two emotions. There, there's really not a lot of difference, man. That's the whole thing. There's, you know, people, it's just in your focus. What are you really focused on? And people that are living in fear, and I know because I lived in fear for a number of years, I, I've, I've really had to battle with my insecurities and my fears. It's really been a struggle for me, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not necessarily proud of it either, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed of it. It's just part of, my, it's part of what I've had to go through. But, you know, People that are that are really excited, they're 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 more focused on the opportunity. People that are afraid, they're constantly thinking of what's going to go wrong all the time, and and am I going to be making this mistake or you know they just they hurt themselves, they 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 destroy their chances. And I, so that that's the long version of the whole thing, man. I'm glad you asked that question, but fear holds people back. It held me back and made my life really. It made my life unnecessarily difficult for a number of years, and I would just tell myself, man, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of, man. It's just, you know, the, the world is filled with people who are just like Eileen and myself. They started with nothing, and they went on to make millions of dollars. They make our success story look pale by comparison. There, You can go out there and make as much money as you want, but you've got to stay focused on the excitement part of it and not all the things that are going to go wrong and, and 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 this, this fear paralyzes people. It holds them back. It limits them. It stops them from reaching their potential. And um, so, wow, that's it, man. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Thank you for sharing that. Hey, um, I know you said you sent out a lot of postcards. It was just something very interesting posted in the chat box. 
There's a guy named Daniel Newton on this call. He actually got his first start in the marketing business from a postcard that he got from you in the 80s. Oh, man. Hey, Daniel, uh, Facebook me, man. Send me a Facebook message. I, I'd, uh, I'd really like to talk with you. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. No, that's exciting, man. That is that is so exciting, and uh, thank you. Thank you, Daniel, for that, man. Definitely. All right, TJ. Well, I appreciate your time. You shared a lot of power, powerful knowledge with us. I mean, you got me very excited, especially with that last point about the fear. Um, you know, I think a lot of people struggle with that, and I struggled with that for quite some time. Um, but I feel like I broke that fear when I moved out to uh, Kuala Lumpur, to the other side of the world, to come work with Matt. But um, guys, if you want to leverage this same system that TJ's you've been using and that we've been talking about, uh, you can do that by going to top tier dot money and you can get started today. Your coach is going to get uh, get with you in the first 24 hours and you can really get pumping through this system. And like TJ said, if you're already in mobile, um, definitely get yourself positioned. Um, like TJ said, just at the last HBS event in KL. Um, he got a $10,000 commission passed up to him, and that was literally him doing no work at all. He didn't even sponsor the person um, that brought in the commission. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for hopping on this call. Um, we'll see you next Thursday. And, TJ, I can't thank you enough, and we'll have to get Chris on the next call. All right. Thank you, Steve, and thank you, everybody, for, uh, for being part of this call. And I hope that you'll take that action tonight because it can be something that really does change your life. Definitely. All right, TJ, thank you so much. All right. See you, Steve. Thanks. All right.